Hello, this video tutorial will demonstrate how to create the effect of something diminishing or getting closer together as it gets further away, um, both on a horizontal plane like the sidewalk. I'll show you a method for doing that. And then vertically, um, as you might see in telephone poles, fences, light posts, even trees that are, say, spaced, um, planted, um, evenly spaced. So this is a house that I built uh, in a previous demonstration, two-point perspective house. So let's say, let's start with a horizontal convergence, so elements that are flat on the ground, like a sidewalk. Um, <clears throat> you want to find um, an area or you want to create a, a square in perspective that's made up, that is part of that horizontal area. In this case, it would be this corner square. I'm going to take a guideline that goes from the corner, through both corners, towards the horizon line, which is right here. This point right here is called the diagonal vanishing point, or DVP, as we'll refer to it. It's right here. And you'll use that point to create the other uh, squares um, for the sidewalk in uh, getting closer together as they get further away. So the way you use this then at, is you'll draw a line from your diagonal vanishing point to another corner of what will be your second square here. Then from your left vanishing point you'll go through this corner to create that second square. So what I did was I drew uh, a line from the diagonal vanishing point to this corner. And then where that where this line overlaps right here, that's where I know to draw another line from the left vanishing point. So to do it again, I'll take another line from the diagonal vanishing point to here, and then a line from the vanishing point left to here. And you can do it this way as well, except you'll take uh, a line from your right vanishing point, like so. And then you'll see you can create believable diminishing of the sidewalk as it gets further away in space. You just keep repeating that over and over and over and over as it gets further away. <clears throat> the other method I want to show you is creating vertical convergence. So let me get my line tool set up. So let's say, what do we want to do? Uh, let's do telephone poles or power lines, whatever. Um, first, you want to create a believable sense of, of, of height to these. So I'm going to draw lines from my vanishing point to represent the height of those, of those telephone poles. And, and again, you know, they're generally all the same height. But as they get further away from us, they're going to appear to get smaller. But we want to make sure that um, it's consistent in how they're getting smaller towards that vanishing point. So here is my first vanishing point, and I can just draw that wherever I want. Or my first, um, sorry, my first telephone pole. I can draw that wherever I want. So I'm going to draw that here. The second telephone pole, again, is also placed rather arbitrarily. I'm just going to place it here. Um, you need to basically just draw the first and second post of whatever you're drawing, whether it's a fence or trees or whatever. You're going to draw those out before you can use this method. So then you're going to use your perspective center X, which in the previous demonstration I showed you how to use that to place your peak to center windows on a wall, etc., etc. So that's a good way of finding the middle of pretty much anything. So I'm going to use that to find the middle of all of these posts, which also happens to fall almost on the horizon line. 
So after doing that, the way you want to use this method to place your third vanishing point, you want to go from the top of your first one, first post, through the middle of your second post, and that will land you at the base of where your third post should go. So, I'm going to go from the top of the first post through the middle of the second post that I've laid out, and that will lead me, doink, right to where the third post should be. So that's where my third post is going to go. If you want to lay out a fourth post, you're going to go from the top of the next post through the middle of the post that you just laid out, and it's going to drop me, boink, right where the fourth post should go. Rinse, repeat. Top of that one, through the middle of the next one, boink. You don't have to make the sound effects, but it makes it a little bit more fun. <laughs> so, um, here you can see then I have my posts in perspective. I'm establishing the height of these as they diminish in space so that they're consistent. Um, and then in general, these are spaced evenly from each other, but because they're getting further away, this is a consistent way to create that sense of convergence as they get further away.